My name is Robert Larigo. Uh, I am a gastroenterologist. I uh, just graduated uh, fellowship from Stanford, uh, and I have a, a special interest in inflammatory bowel disease. Uh, my name is Molly Dunham Friel, and I am the author of Better Bellies by Molly.com, along with on Instagram. And so, my question is technically a three part question. Uh, so, I'll just say it all right now. And if you need me to repeat it, just let me know. Yeah. So, what is one of the newer treatments or medical revelations in the GI world that gives you hope for the future? Is a cure in sight, and what does that timeline look like? Yeah, I mean, those are all really good questions, Molly, and, and I think questions that uh, any patient with IBD should be asking their providers uh, on the regular. Um, there are several, several, several uh, new drugs in the pipeline, um, and I think things that I'm excited about in particular are um, uh, well, not only the new drugs and, and their effect on ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease, um, but also um, some of the, the comparative effectiveness studies where you are directly comparing um, one biologic against another within uh, a very similar patient group. Because those, even those basic studies uh, haven't really been, been done yet. Um, so currently, there is no cure for inflammatory bowel disease. We can only uh, treat the disease as best as we can. We treat its symptoms, we treat the inflammation, and patients can eventually end up with, you know, years of very quiet disease and very uh, and zero uh, to few uh, complications of inflammatory bowel disease. Um, um, but but a, a, a true cure where you eliminate the disease uh, and no longer have to be on, you know, drugs for the rest of your life um, has has really remained elusive to us for a lot of different reasons. I think one, we talked about kind of the whole microbiome element. Uh, we, we're really just uh, trying to develop a better understanding of how our gut microbiome affects um, inflammatory bowel disease. Um, uh, also, the exact pathophysiologic mechanism of Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis um, is also... Uh, a bit elusive to us. There's still a lot of mystery uh, that's going on. And as we identify new receptors, uh, new uh, uh, pathways uh, uh, that uh, are a part of IBD, we start developing, we can then develop drugs that target those individual pathways. Um, so I'll give you a couple examples. So um, uh, Ozanamod is a, a new drug, it's an oral drug that came out years ago. Um, it's targeting a pathway. It's very different from the, the anti-TNF drugs uh, like uh, uh, infliximab. Um, and uh, basically it prevents lymphocytes, which are a type of immune cells from leaving the lymph nodes um, and therefore preventing those lymphocytes from, from causing damage. Um, there's a, another class of drugs called um, uh, Janus kinase inhibitors. Um, tofacitinib was kind of the, the, the first and newest one uh, for ulcerative colitis that was released, um, but uh, there's also filgotinib, uh, upatacitinib, um, and these drugs basically uh, prevent inflama certain inflammatory cytokines from exerting their effect by, by blocking this um, uh, receptor, um, and that may benefit both Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. Um, so again, we're still, there's still a lot of research going on. It's a very complicated disease, um, and it, just like a lot of complicated diseases, even though we call it Crohn's disease or also colitis, it may actually be a bunch of different diseases within them. Um, and so as we delve more into the realm of personalized medicine, um, we're also going to develop some more therapies as well. It's very difficult to create kind of a true timeline as to when these things are going to play out. It really just depends on um, us having a better understanding of the underlying pathophysiologic mechanism, uh, and from there, you know, developing therapies that are very directed uh, in a very smart way while reducing side effects. Um, after all, you're dealing with with inflammation, and you know, our our body has developed this inflammatory system for a reason to help fight off infection. Uh, even though diseases like IBD are when inflammation goes haywire, so you need to be able to exert a positive effect without eliminating um, without eliminating the, the inherent benefits of, you know, inflammation uh, itself, which was created for a reason. Um, so I'm not sure when the timeline would be, uh, but every year there's always something new in the, in the, in the pipeline. Um, 
and uh, certainly every year I go to the conferences, um, there's always new hope and renewed hope uh, that we're getting one step closer to creating uh, uh, therapies that uh, last longer, uh, therapies that are more directed with fewer side effects, and therapies that uh, can be administered in a more convenient way, orally, instead of, you know, injections or IV.